here. Thank you for coming. To this is the presentation for the Best of Show. Uh, the Best of Show Award is an award given by the Ma editors of Mac World. I'm one of them. I kind of managed the whole thing. The uh, editors, well, basically what it is, it's when somebody asks us what's the cool things to see at the show, these are the products that come top of mind. Uh, there are hundreds of thousands of products out there. There's over 250 uh, vendors out there showing their wares. And what we try to do is see as many products as possible. Uh, so we try and see products beforehand. We spend a lot of time the first day of the show on the show floor to see products. And we come up with what we think are the best of show winners. This year we have nine winners. Uh, obviously, there's not nine people here. There are three. Uh, the trick about getting when you have the best of show is it's done, everything's done at the last minute. So the best of show winners were picked late last night. I have to go to the show floor and ask people to come and if they can. And some can't, some can. So I get as many as I could. I have three of the winners here. They're going to do brief presentations of their products, and then at the end I'll tell you the complete list of winners and where you can go see their products up close and personal on the show floor. So first I have John, and John's going to show his app. It's called Crazy Talk 7. Go ahead, John. Thanks, Roman. Um, hello, everyone. First of all, we want to certainly say thank you to Macworld uh, for the opportunity to be selected as one of the best of show. Um, Crazy Talk 7 is a revolutionary 2D animation software. Um, it's designed, thank you, it's designed for, uh, for anyone to be able to take any single 2D image, uh, any photograph from your iPhone, photograph from your camera, and import it into Crazy Talk and bring it to life with your voice and the power of what we have uh, called auto animation um, that allows your voice to become a puppeteer um, and lay some general animation for your character and give you some hands-on control also for facial puppeteering. Uh, this product is available in the App Store now. It's $29.99, so it's accessible for, uh, for most uh, the folks to go ahead and get a, a chance to try. Uh, people that use the software uh, range from Jimmy Kimmel Live on ABC as well as Jon Stewart, The Daily Show on uh, Comedy Central. Uh, the same software is also in use um, in elementary school and high schools, teaching kids uh, the basics of animation um, and a creative way to bring uh, more of a gamified way of learning uh, into the classroom. So I'd like to show you Crazy Talk 7 today and see how, um, if you'd like to have any more uh, questions, we're uh, located down in the Appaloosa section. We also have a 15-day demo of the software. We invite you to come down uh, and grab one of those discs. And uh, let me show you how it works. So inside Crazy Talk, um, the interface is laid out in kind of a garage band type style. We have uh, a number of uh, pieces of content that you can use or you can uh, kind of go your own and, uh, and make it yourself. Um, to give you an idea of what the output is like with Crazy Talk, this is, uh, this is actually a 2D image now that's come to life inside the software. Uh, so we're going to show you how we can take this 2D image of a cat um, and bring it to life inside Crazy Talk. So we'll start out by importing uh, a digital photo. And uh, that's done from the top left-hand side of the screen here. Um, and then we can just go ahead and import a photograph uh, from our desktop. I have uh, my cat JPG here that I'm going to use. Uh, we can do some uh, Photoshop-esque kind of editing here, do some color balance and that sort of thing if we need to. Also, if you have a group shot from your office, I know you're thinking it already. Um, you can crop out someone's head, like the CEO, a manager, something like that, and have, have a go with them too. Um, with Crazy Talk, what's, what's awesome is that the magic starts in the fitting process where we just take these four dots and then go ahead and fit them to the face just like this. So you can imagine if you wanted to make a car talk, you could put the dots near the headlights, uh, riding lawn more even. Uh, babies, politicians, and animals are usually the top thing we see inside the software. Um, everybody wants to put words in their mouths, right? Um, so with Crazy Talk, once you've got those simple four points set, then you have the opportunity to go ahead and fit a simple wireframe mask onto the character. Um, now this process, we have a guide at the top right that'll always show you what to do with the software through each step. Um, but we can just go ahead and follow this very intuitively. The eyes go where the eyes go, the mouth, and so on. I'm going to add a few more dots to help the fitting out. 
Um, this section on the outside we call our hair mask. So whether you've got hair, ears, horns, halo, whatever it is that might be um, up there for you, uh, you can go ahead and make sure that uh, you've got that put into the software there. And then we can zoom in because with Crazy Talk, since we're dealing with one photograph, just one photograph to make the animation come to life, we want to make sure that um, that we have this fit really well on the eyes and then also the mouth. Uh, the section where the mouth is, we're actually going to make that talk, right? So uh, we're going to take uh, this, this static mouth here and turn it into an animated mouth, uh, which will do some neat things like add teeth and so on here in just a moment as well. So I'll go ahead and just use my fitting editor here to just click and drag. Usually takes about two minutes to set up a, a digital actor. Now the cool thing about that is that um, once you've got your digital actor set up with Crazy Talk and the image, all it takes um, is for you to save that to your library. And once it's saved in the library, you have a digital actor you can always call back to the stage. You can always animate. You don't have to go through the fitting process again until you're ready to bring in a new photograph, a new actor, and then of course the fun begins again. So with Crazy Talk, I'll go ahead and uh, back out a little bit here and so you can see what uh, the final fitting would look like. So I'll just zoom out. So really simple, just like that. Um, get your image fit uh, into the software. And then once that's there, we can fix the facial orientation. So if the head of your character was to have been you know, turned slightly, obviously forward facing characters work the best, then we could compensate for that if we needed to. Next, we'll select what kind of head um, is going to be animated, whether it's a human, an animal. Um, and this is going to make a difference in the type of shape of uh, mesh that the character's uh, image is going to be placed over. Now, all that's behind the scenes because we want to make this really simple for everybody, OK? So even right away, just with that little bit of work, now I can use my mouse and you can see the image starting to come to life right now. So this is just a basic animation, um, but it'll give you an idea of how we're getting started. Now, on the next step, uh, we've got a little bit of work to do on the face. Um, the first thing is, is I want to add some, some more animatable eyes to my character. And Crazy Talk comes with a huge library of eyes for humans. Those of us that like to have a lot of eyeshadow and makeup, you can have that on here as well. Um, and then for um, characters um, that are, that are non-human, um, if you're a cartoon type person like anime stuff, we've got a large list of anime eyes, um, as well as comics. If you like comics, we've got those. Um, but for today, we're animating Oscar the cat here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, give him some eyes, and it looks as though he approves. Um, so once we've got that in there, the next thing to do is a little bit of dental work. And it's certainly not as expensive as it normally is um, inside Crazy Talk. So once you've got that, you can go ahead and select um, from the teeth library. Okay, so my cat. Um, likes a little bling every now and then, so we can give the kitty some little gold teeth if we want. I'm also a massive fan of The Walking Dead, so maybe a zombie kitty might be more apropos for today. Um, but I'll go ahead and, and uh, stick to a more traditional uh, cat, and uh, we'll go ahead and put some uh, teeth in here. Now, we can also uh, edit those teeth as well. I can rotate those to fit the uh, tilt of the head. Um, we can go ahead and turn the brightness down to get them uh, matching the scene a little bit better here like this. I can turn the saturation, saturation down so it's not so uh, vibrant inside the mouth there like so. And then we can also go ahead and fit the character's uh, teeth uh, with the position a little bit better there as well. So now we've got that set up. And you really have an avatar that's ready to animate. So we've gone from digital photo from a single JPEG image now to a digital actor um, that's ready to come to the stage and animate. So the way that we animate inside Crazy Talk is it's audio-driven animation. And we call this auto animation. And so we're allowed to either record audio live with our, with our microphone. Um, we can use audio files, MP3, WAV file. Um, so if you're you know, producing something in another program or if you've got studio quality stuff you want to bring in, like The Daily Show uses and Jimmy Kimmel, you could use that. Or text-to-speech also is actually a pretty good option on the Mac. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, do something live here. And I'm just going to use my built-in microphone here today, and I'll go ahead and I'll hit my record button. Hello, and welcome to Macworld 2013. This is Crazy Talk from Reillusion, where we're going to show you how you can animate any digital image in a flash.
Okay, so you can ramble on for five minutes or so. I definitely can do that. Uh, you might be able to as well. Um, and then we can go ahead and say, okay, once that's done. Uh, Crazy Talk will then ask us, do we want to uh, use this audio as talk mode, as listen mode, or as lip sync only. And the difference here is that with talk mode, uh, the character is actually going to talk with lips. It's also going to move its head. All of this is going to be affected by the movement um, or by the audio, the intensity, the energy, the volume. All of that is a controlling uh, factor inside the animation. Listen mode is for those of us that just want to create somebody to kind of bop their head along to whatever music we've got. So if you want to create a character that likes to listen to music, bop its head along and to the beat then you could do that as well for the talk mode I'll go ahead and select that and we can see we got a little bit of general animation and there's audio with this as well by the way um, so we've got a little bit of general animation there there we go we'll go ahead and back up a little bit and I'll show you how we can add some additional uh, enhancement to that through auto animation Auto animation allows us to decide exactly what's going to happen whenever that audio, uh, which by the way you can see here on our timeline, this audio here, what's happening when these peaks and levels are rising with the, with the, uh, with the waveform. Um, so I'll just select a general type of animation. This is Crazy Talk from Reillusion, where we're going to show you how you can animate any digital image in a flash. So even just with that, without even touching a single keyframe, without even posing anything ourselves, we've used uh, a single photograph and audio to bring a character to life instantly. Now, for those of us that want to take it a step further, we can go ahead and finesse that even further with the uh, face puppeteering tools inside Crazy Talk. And this is a great way to get hands-on um, and really you know, get involved with the animation. You can select from different facial control features, happy, sad, different expressions, Expressions. I'll just select something general here and hit my space bar and now I'm using my mouse again and my kitty's kind of looking around maybe he's gonna blink a little you know so every time I click my mouse the cat's gonna blink a little bit if I hold it down the eyes stay closed so again we're just doing really intuitive stuff using our mouse and that sort of thing now what I can do here is I can on the right hand side instead of using the pre can stuff on the right hand side I have um, a full uh, maquette that I can choose different facial features with so I can decide what I want to control myself too. Um, so you've got really your own mini animation studio with Crazy Talk that gives you a lot um, of control over how your character works. I'm just going to do a little work on the mouth here, right? So I've just got the mouth isolated. So when I move my cursor up and down, it's just the mouth moving. And then I'm going to back my um, playhead up to the front. And this is where real time uh, really takes control because we're going to puppeteer the character along with the audio as it plays back. So what we'll do is we'll hit record. Excuse me, when I hit record, I'll be able to then um, fire the playhead with my space bar and then puppeteer with my mouse as the character um, speaks. Hello, and welcome to Mac World 2013. This is Crazy Talk from Reillusion, where we're going to show you how you can animate any digital image in a flash. There we go. So now, just a one pass there with our animation tool, which, by the way, you can do multi-passes with. As much as you want, it layers up. You can undo, back off, go, go backwards, forwards, either way you want. Completely non-linear way of being able to be creative with your digital photos and animation. Hello, and welcome to Macworld 2013. This is Crazy Talk from Reillusion where well, we're going to show you how you can animate any digital image in a flash. Now, once you're ready to go ahead and export that, Crazy Talk's ready for you uh, to be able to share that instantly for the format that can go directly to YouTube and share with your friends, um, be able to share as a message as well, or uh, for those of you that have ideas of going more into post-production, a serious kind of application, uh, Crazy Talk can then uh, bring, your, um, bring your audio, bring your video, bring your animation and everything in the format of H.264, MPEG-4, and so on. Um, Crazy Talk's available, uh, like I said, on the Mac Store, right now on the App Store, $29.99. Um, you can also find out more about it at the Appalooza section where our kiosk is located. We're extremely proud to be awarded one of the Mac World Best of 2013 and appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thanks, John. Thank you. Thank you. So part of the process of choosing the best of show is the Mac World editors get together after the first day of the show, we get together and, and we have a long meeting that goes late into the night, involves pizza and a lot of beer. And 
sometimes the discussion can get a little tiring, a little arduous. And then last night, we fired up a demo of Crazy Talk, and the room just kind of exploded, like, whoa, there's a talking cat on the screen. <laughs> and everybody just loved it. So <coughs> nice work. Thanks. Uh, our next product, unfortunately, we couldn't get the video to work out of uh, an iPad, because this next product is an iPad app. It's from Boink Software. It's called iStop Motion. This is version two. And this is Oliver. He's going to tell you a little bit about the product. Please visit his booth. He's in the Appaloosa uh, section. Uh, get a good look at it. It's a really cool app. And uh, Oliver, if you could tell us a little bit about, about it, please. Yeah, next year I'm just going to send an image in and you can. <laughs> <laughs> hey, talking cats, that's a tough act to follow. So, <clears throat> uh, stop motion is also about animation, but uh, we're using the uh, oldest stop mo uh, the oldest animation technique uh, available to man, which is the stop motion animation technique, which means you take single frame pictures and put them together in a movie. And um, I stop. Yeah, thank you. First of all, thank you for recognizing the product with the best of show award, second year in a row. Um, and um, yeah, um, so what's new um, this year? Uh, we've added a lot of stuff in the audio uh, uh, section, not auto animating like the cat does, but um, uh, the, the professional animators, they uh, prefer to record a soundtrack before they start animating. And we've added that feature. So um, you can be mimicking more um, the, the professional workflow. Um, I stop motion for iPad has been a huge hit at schools and um, and and some of the work that has gone into it is, takes takes into account how how uh, kids work in schools and they want to be able to overdub their animations and so we built that in as well. So if you want to see a demo, uh, we've got um, uh, a fantastic animation teacher from the the Children's Creativity Museum just across the street on our booth today. Uh, Eli, he's going to show you how to do this uh, with clay animation, and he is really fantastic, and the product is fantastic too, so two, two good things. <laughs> and uh, we are down at the Appaloosa. The app is $9.99, but during Macworld until Sunday, we are selling it for unbelievable $4.99 uh, at the uh, App Store. And uh, that's basically all the information I have. Great. Yeah, last year... I Stop Motion was actually a winner of Best of Show. And the reason why we liked it so much is because it makes it really easy to make stop motion animations. Uh, students can do it, kids can do it, adults can use it. It makes it really easy. Uh, the new version has some great audio features. Uh, so it makes your stop motion videos even more robust. And it's unfortunate that we couldn't get the video to work on his iPad, because it really is. You know, it's an animation tool, so it's very visual. And so if you can stop by uh, the Boink software booth at the Apple, that would be really great. So thank you very much, Oliver. So the next product that we have is from Seagate. And as you know, a lot of you probably heard that Apple released a 128 gigabyte iPad recently. And for some people, that's still not enough storage because video files take up a lot of space, images take up a lot of space. If you're shooting in, uh, videos with your iPad, you're going to use up space. So this is something of a solution to that. And this is Greg from uh, Seagate, and he's going to talk about the Wireless Plus. Hi there, everybody. So once again, I'm Greg from Seagate. And this is the new product we just introduced earlier, earlier on in the month. And it's called Seagate Wireless Plus. Now, this is a mobile hard drive that is for your tablets and smartphones. The idea is you could load this up with all of your content, photos, movies, music, and documents, take it with you on the go, and stream it directly to your iPad, your iPhone, um, your Mac, your PC, and many other devices. Pretty much all you need is a Wi-Fi connectivity. And you could use your web browser, or you could use our free app, and that's something we're going to show today. So inside of here, we have a one terabyte hard drive. So that means you could store about 500 HD movies with something like this, or thousands of uh, songs, photos, and documents with you. Um, so one thing you could do is load it up completely wirelessly from your PC or Mac, or you can actually pop off the bottom here, and I'll show you. So we have a connection on here, and this is called USM. So this has been out for a couple years now, and it allows you to basically have any interface you want on this drive. I believe we have a connector here. Yes. 
sitting by the chair. There, there we go. go. So it comes with this one here out of the box. Um, so you plug it in and you're going to have USB 3.0. Now that's going to be the fastest way to load up content uh, from your PC or Mac computer. Now when you unplug that and turn the device on, you basically have a completely wireless drive. Now it creates its own Wi-Fi network. So that means that you don't have to have an internet connection, you don't have to use your data plan, and you usually get really good performance when you're out and about. Would it help if I held it and you... Um, I think I should be able to go right from here, okay. yeah. Let me know if we need to change the angle at all. Okay. Um, so basically, from the home screen there, I, I just tapped on our app, and we'll start full screen with that. Um, so our app is, tries to give you a really good visual interface to navigate the content that's on your drive. So when you start off, we, we're in the video section here. And we have 18 videos preloaded from the Discovery Channel with the product, so you get a good chance to try it out. Now I can um, tap on a video here, and it's going to open in the default player in my iPad. It'll jump ahead to where I left off in the video. And because it uses the default player, you already know how to use it, so it's real easy. Pause, play, fast forward, rewind, all the controls you're familiar with. Yeah, actually, and if, if you're at home, you would have an AirPlay button on there, too. So if you have an Apple TV, you can uh, basically use your iPad or iPhone as a remote and instantly stream right to your TV. <laughs> now when we go back in the interface here, we have a drop-down menu. And what we're doing is we create a database of all your contents. So we know that one terabyte is a whole lot of stuff. So we want to make it real easy to navigate. So if I go over to Photos, for instance, it's going to dig through all the different folders on the drive and show me just the folders that are in here. I'm sorry, just the photos that are in here. Tap it, give it a moment here. It's going to go full screen, pinch zoom, all the stuff we're used to doing. Uh, swipe ahead to uh, the next photo. We can uh, continue with a slideshow. We could have music going with that slideshow if you like. We could also tap down to music, and it'll show us different albums that we have. Along the bottom of the screen here, we have options to look at sort in different ways. Look at songs, look at artists, create our own playlist on the go even. Now, of course, for those of us that are old school, we can still go back to the old file folder view and see exactly what's on the drive the way we chose to store it there too. So lots of options to navigate all that content that you bring with you. Now, if I go down to the very bottom here, you can see that it uh, lists the name of the device I'm using. So this is Jason's iPad. Borrowed my buddy's iPad for this demo here. As I tap into that, I'm actually seeing content that's loaded onto the iPad itself right now. Over here, we have our camera roll. So those that use iPad and iPhone, you know when you take pictures and videos, it goes into the camera roll on the device. Now what's really cool is if I've been taking photos or videos at the show, I'm consuming a lot of storage space on my mobile device. And if I want an option to offload some of that content so that I have room to shoot more content, I can basically go over and select a couple things here, tap one button, and it starts sending it directly to the drive. So we're doing that real time right now. And we wire wirelessly sent uh, photos and videos directly over here. So now I've got a backup copy. But if I want, I can also delete the content directly off my iPad and free up space to take more videos, install more apps, or things like that. One other thing I want to show you guys real quick, a uh, common question we get is, OK, if this device is Wi-Fi, how do I also access the internet at the same time? I mean, usually I want to multitask. So we thought about that with this product, and we introduced it. Um, by this icon we have here. We have a Wi-Fi icon. And when I tap on that, what's going on is the, the Seagate Wireless Plus device is actually scanning for other Wi-Fi sources nearby. So let's say you're at a coffee shop uh, and they have Wi-Fi for you. You can go and select that. And what's going to happen is our product is going to join that Wi-Fi network for you. And it's going to pass the internet along with all of your media from the drive to your tablet or smartphone. So that means you could do things like listen to music, streaming directly from the drive, and then exit out of the app and go into the Facebook app, for instance, or go to Safari or check your email, do other things uh, with your tablet. One last thing I want to close on is this isn't a device that you use with just uh, one iPad or mobile device. You can actually stream to up to eight devices at the same time when you want to do things like look at photos, um, do documents, listen to music. And when you want to watch movies, we can actually stream three different HD movies to three different devices all at once. So it's really good for entertaining the whole family while you're traveling or just showing off to your friends that you got the latest gadget. Great. Oh, pricing, yeah. So this is uh, available today, and you can buy it for $1.99. It's available at Amazon, Seagate.com, and in Best Buy stores. Great. So 200 bucks for a one terabyte drive for your, for your iPad. That's a pretty good deal. So uh, I've tried other similar devices that are these external hard drives that you can use with your iOS devices. And um, they either, some of them work OK, but the interfaces aren't that great. But this one, this one, the interface is a, little, a lot more elegant than other ones I've used. It's, it's a really nice device. So um, thank you very much, Greg. Thanks for having us. Really appreciate it. Um, 
So those are three of the Best of Show winners. Uh, let me tell you about the rest of them, and I'll also go over their booth numbers of the three recipients here. So uh, we have nine winners of the Best of Show. So um, one of the winners was a co company called Belkin, and Belkin's Thunderstorm. It's this uh, iPad case that has two built-in speakers. Uh, they dub it as sort of like a portable home theater. What's also really cool about this device is it has software, so you can tweak the audio and get better spatial uh, separation, so you can get better stereo output. Uh, that's Belkin, they're in booth 642. The uh, next product is the Nessie from Blue Microphones. Uh, this is a microphone, it's designed for people who are wanting to get into maybe, say, podcasting or something, and you don't really want to fuss with a lot of audio tweaks that you need to do while you're doing the, the post-production. It has a lot of built-in features that make it easy to record uh, voice content. Uh, they're in booth 517. We have Boinks, they're at Appaloosa. Uh, next product is called is from Double Robotics. This is the Double. This is a uh, telepresence, it's a robot. Um, any of you guys familiar with the Big Bang Theory? There was an episode with Shellbot where Sheldon didn't want to leave his room anymore. So he created this robot that would go into the office for him. So this is essentially that robot. It uses iPads. Uh, the cool thing about it is it uses an iPad on the robot. Uh, and then you use an iPad to control it. And then it uses an internet connection. So you could be miles away from this robot and have it go walk around the hallways of your office if you're a telecommuter. Uh, it's a $2,000 robot. Um, they announced it a while ago, but it actually does work. So it's, it's here and there at booth 556. Um, the Fujitsu, Fu, excuse me, Fu, Fujitsu ScanSnap IX500, this is a document scanner. It's blazing fast. We actually did a full review of it like last week. Uh, what's really cool about this is that it can actually do scan uh, double-sided pages at once. Uh, it can, its speed is about 25 pages per minute. It's really fast. It's a $495 scanner. It's a little pricey, but if you're a business that deals with a lot of documents, it's a real time saver. And they're at booth 610. Uh, the Henge Horizontal Dock. Uh, Henge is a company that makes uh, accessories. This dock is a laptop accessory. What it does is uh, you can dock your MacBook Pro, your MacBook Air. When you connect it, you end up with, I believe it's six additional USB ports, three video out ports, an Ethernet port, and I believe two audio out ports. So you get a whole ton of ports. The really cool thing about it uh, is that if you have multiple docks, so if you say have one horizontal docks in your office at home and one at work, there's software that works with the docks in your laptop so that it saves your configurations all the time. So you're not always trying to figure out which ports are working and stuff. It's a $249 dock and they're at booth 509. Uh, Real Illusion with Crazy Talk is at Appaloosa. Uh, the Seagate Wireless Plus is at booth 616. And the last product on our list is the Spicebox Mouse. This is a, actually a Kickstarter project. It uses your iOS device, uh, plugs into the port of your, of your iPhone and to create a remote that you can use with TV set bo top boxes and other devices. Uh, check them out at booth 422. So that wraps up our uh, best of show presentation. I'd like to thank our sponsor. Uh, Macworld Live is brought to you today by the, by the Dragonfly from AudioQuest. Check it out at audioquest.com. It's a, a digital audio converter. So uh, that wraps it up for today's show. Uh, please visit the show floor, get a closer look at these products, and uh, thank you for your time. <laughs>